If you have never seen a snake up close and personal, well, this weekend is your chance to do so at the Exotic Pet Expo. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner joins us live this morning from Studio B, getting a look at some of these animals herself. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa and Jordan. And if you've never seen a bearded dragon up close and personal, you'll be able to do that tomorrow as well at the Exotic Pet Expo at the Red River Valley Fairgrounds from 10 to 4. You're going to want to go out there. There's going to be so many different cool animals. And I'm here with Curtis Ness, who's the organizer of the Pet Expo, and his daughter, Jalen. And you have a bearded dragon with us. And okay, so let's talk about him his name and he's he's pretty red some of them can get pretty tan too mm -hmm. the the bearded dragons with the different genetic mixes can be all sorts of different colors there's bright oranges bright reds some of them are gray some of them have the spikier back like this guy uh, some of them are more leather back, so they feel more like the uh, texture of a snake. Wow. Uh, it's all done based on selective genetic breeding of different bearded dragons to get the really cool colors. And they're pretty relaxed, too, just like the chameleons we had on a little bit earlier. I mean, he's been sitting here almost all morning, so this does make a pretty good pet. Yep, it makes a great pet. Uh, bearded dragons are great starter pets for the kids that really want to have a lizard as a pet <laughs> and whatnot. Uh, the food is really easy to get. They don't require a crazy amount of effort to uh, keep them good. Yeah. Uh, they're actually a lot easier to keep than a dog. Really? Yep. Wow, that surprises me. I think it's just so cool. I love the educational aspect to this. I mean, people really do get that up-close personal encounter, especially like mm -hmm. with snakes and spiders and things like that. But there's just so, there's something just so interesting about these animals. But we'll bring back the chameleons, talk about them here in just a few minutes. Kind of thinking outside the box. I mean, if you're not going to pick up the dog poop in the backyard, maybe you want to. <laughs> I'm thinking when I'm looking at these pets, I'm like, I, maybe the upkeep is a little bit easier. Yeah, I never even thought of that, but <laughs> growing up we had cattle, so I suppose that's a whole a whole different lot there. But uh, Abby Furchner with some very interesting animals this morning. Thank you very much. Not every 